Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, today we've got a fantastic, uh, some fantastic information for you. We're joined today by Carrie from Intrepid and she's going to tell us all about the company. Um, just to give you a very, very quick idea, there's small group tours. Some of the destinations that Intrepid feature are real bucket list destinations. Um, so it's going to be really of interest to you if you've got a fantastic bucket list. So when you're ready, Carrie, over to you. Well, thank you so much, guys, and thank you everybody for uh, watching this video today. So as Lisa has already said, I am Carrie. So uh, just so you guys can see who I am, this is uh, a picture of me, although you can see me on the screen as well. Uh, so I'm Carrie, I'm based over in Ireland, and I'm the industry sales manager for Intrepid Travel. Uh, this photograph of me, I think, sums me up pretty well because uh, it's where I'm usually the happiest when I've got food. <laughs> So uh, this particular trip uh, picture was taken on our Explore Northern Thailand itinerary, which is absolutely incredible. If anybody uh, is interested in seeing Northern Thailand, highly, highly uh, recommend that one. So we're going to get straight into it and uh, want to tell you very quickly just a little bit about Intrepid, who we are and where we've come from. So this picture was actually taken on the very first Intrepid trip, although our founders at the time didn't actually realize that this was the very first trip. So our two founders are two guys called Daryl Wade and Jeff Manchester, and they are from Melbourne, Australia. They really wanted to do an overland trip of Africa, but obviously to do something like that, it costs quite a lot of money. So they decided to put a little ad into the local paper, see if anybody would like to come with them, help them spread the costs, because when you're doing an overland trip in Africa, you need one of these big trucks that you see in the image in front of you. So it was on that trip then that the guys were thinking, hmm, I wonder if we could actually set up a business. So this picture was taken back in 1988. And in 1989, when the guys got back home to Melbourne, they had a little chat and they decided to set up Intrepid. So we are in 32 years of adventures so far and lots more to come. So I thought that was pretty important just to let you guys know where we've come from and uh, what we're going to do as well. So to give you a little bit of an idea about Intrepid, we are all about small groups, big adventures and sustainable travel. So sustainable travel is at the heart of absolutely everything that we do. So we have over a thousand itineraries in 120 countries on seven continents. So really your choices are limitless. You can go anywhere with Intrepid. Um, and of course we have local leaders on all of our trips as well. And they're absolutely incredible. We'll come back to those in a moment. Um, and we do offer three different trip styles to suit all budgets, ages and needs. And again, I'll come back to that in a moment. So what we do is we really take travelers off the beaten path and have these really incredible, authentic, immersive experiences. So you're not just going to see a place, but you're also going to make a positive impact along the way. So Intrepid will try and stay in family run hotels where we can, we'll eat in local restaurants. So that money is always going back into the local communities and supporting those local businesses, which is so, so important to us. Um, and I'm really happy to let you guys know as well that Intrepid are the world's largest B Corp travel company in the world. You're probably wondering what that means. A lot of people don't know what it is. So um, it basically means that we're using our business as a force for good. So we've got that B Corp certificate and it, they just hold us accountable. So we do give a lot of money back into local communities um, and we do our best to be a sustainable travel company. Uh, and we've recently become the very first tour operator with verified science-based targets. And um, so we're going to try and achieve a low carbon future um, in line with the UN's Paris Climate Agreement. So uh, just lots of great little things that you can expect on some of our trips. So like I mentioned already, we do have small groups. So on average, our trips will have about 10 like-minded passengers. Um, maximum group size is usually 12, but some of the slightly more popular itineraries will be a maximum of 16. And having these small groups is really important to us because it really means that we can stay in those smaller hotels. And like I said, we can eat in those local restaurants. We can slow the pace down as well if people aren't feeling particularly great on a certain day. If people just want to you know, slow it all down a little bit, we can do that. It's not like you're holding up a big group of 50 people. They're nice small groups. Um, and it's also worth noting as well that over 50% of our customers are solo travelers and of those 50% uh, are 60% are female. Um, so solo travelers are absolutely huge for Intrepid. So traveling the local way, we really want to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So a lot of our customers typically will just have their two weeks of annual leave and they really want to see as much as they can in those two weeks. So we've just planned everything out and you're really going to get a really great feel for that country in such a short amount of time. Obviously, we do have a lot longer itineraries as well if you've got a little bit longer to travel. Um, we will use local transportation as well where possible. Um, 
for a couple of reasons, because we really want you to have a really authentic experience, travel how the locals travel, but we also are quite conscious of our carbon emissions. So Intrepid have been carbon neutral since 2010, um, and we have a lot of great initiatives in place um, to achieve a carbon positive, uh, carbon positive future. Um, so like I said, we will stay in those small uh, family run hotels and eat in the local restaurants. So you're gonna get a really authentic experience, but also contribute to the local economies. And I've already mentioned that we have local leaders and they are so valuable to us. They're a huge selling point for Intrepid and they really do set us apart from a lot of our competitors. They are just so passionate, so knowledgeable. They just love their countries and they really want you to fall in love with their country as much as they do. And of course it is adventure travel. So sometimes things go wrong and you know, roads are closed or whatever. Um, so our local leaders are fantastic. They will know how to get from A to B. They'll know how to avoid those road closures. Um, and they'll also give you lots of great ideas for when, whenever we have some free time on the trips. We have loads of different trip themes as well. And I'm not gonna go through all of these because I'll be here forever if I do, but you'll see there's lots of fantastic ones on the screen in front of you. And we're really seeing a lot more people booking onto a lot of more of our active trips. So the likes of Everest Base Camp or even cycling along the Danube as well is another really popular one. Um, we have lots of great family trips, food trips. Like I said, I could keep going on forever. <laughs> Um, and we do have three different trip styles. So there is literally something there for absolutely every person out there. Uh, we have our basics trips who are fantastic for travelers who are on a budget. There's not too many inclusions in terms of meals and activities. So you can really tailor the days to ex do exactly what you want to do. But of course we've planned it all out. You've got your local leader and you'll have your accommodation along the way as well. Original style then is my personal favorite because uh, it's just got a perfect balance between included activities and free time. I'm the same as everybody else when I travel, if I'm with a group, I don't really want to be with the group constantly. I want to be able to go off and do my own thing. So the original style is perfect for me. Um, like I said, just a really lovely balance between included activities and free time, quite a few meals included, but still not absolutely every meal included. And then our comfort trips are great for those people who really want to get out and be adventurous, but maybe don't want to give up their creature comforts. So we'll stay in slightly nicer accommodation on the comfort trips, few more activities included, a few more meals included, but still not absolutely everything. So it doesn't matter which trip style you pick, there's still going to be something, uh, sorry, a lot of free time to go off and do your own thing as well. So some of the destinations that we travel to, I've already mentioned that we have over a thousand itineraries in over 120 countries. And um, to narrow that down, to let you guys know where the most popular trips are, Southeast Asia is very, very popular for us. So the likes of Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, and um, South America is very popular too. So the likes of Peru, Brazil, Colombia, um, Central America, Morocco and Turkey as well are fantastic destinations, uh, especially for mid-haul if you don't want to go too far away. They're fantastic places to travel to. Uh, Egypt and Jordan, India, Sri Lanka, Nepal and China, more great top sellers for us. And then of course we have our European trips as well. So Croatia, Portugal, Iceland and Italy are just some of the ones that they've mentioned. But of course we travel to many more countries as well. And then just to let you know, if you didn't want to travel with a group of people from around the world, we do also offer our tailor-made experiences. So we just need a minimum of two people and you can book this all through your local travel agent. So you can contact Matt and Lisa if you wanted to get a tailor-made experience booked in. Uh, we own and operate our own DMCs around the world. So a lot of people won't know what that is and it's a destination management company. So that means that we have our own offices in lots of different countries that we travel to. So we're able to get prices back really quickly and they're really fantastic price, prices as well. So if you're interested in doing a tailor-made experience, maybe you want to get a group of friends together, you want to travel with your extended family or something like that, uh, then Lisa and Matt will be able to help you guys with that one too. And then on to the really important stuff. So traveling post COVID. So of course, I'm really happy to let you guys know that Intrepid have received the World Travel and Tourism Council's safe travel stamp. So that means that we have adopted much stricter health and safety procedures across all of our trips. Uh, lots of great information on the website as well, if you ever wanted to check that out. Um, but just to let you guys know, so before we do resume any trips in destinations, um, we're doing a comprehensive risk assessment and audit just to make sure that it is actually safe to resume trips in that destination. All of our leaders will have uh, proper health and safety training on COVID-19. They'll be trained on how to spot the symptoms and what to do if something like that happens. Um, it's really worth noting as well, something I thought was quite interesting and I should have put in, um, if any leaders are exhibiting any COVID symptoms before they travel, 
they'll be replaced by another leader, but they're still paid for the duration of the itinerary. So they're incentivized at least to, you know, be as honest as possible with us and, and not just take a trip because they want to make a bit of money. They'll still be paid for that. So I think that's quite important to mention as well. Um, and of course, then on any of the trips, uh, we'll have additional masks and hand sanitizer just in case you forget your own. And the new flexible booking conditions that Intrepid have adopted, uh, I think are really important as well for you guys, um, just to give you a bit of peace of mind when booking your next Intrepid trip. So if you cancel a trip 21 days or more prior to departure, then we're gonna hold your deposit as a lifetime credit. It can be used on absolutely any trip. It doesn't have to be the exact same trip. It can be used on a different trip if you want to. Um, if you're canceling 20 days or if you're prior to departure, then we're gonna hold 50% of the monies that you've paid as a credit. Um, again, lifetime credit, and it can be used on any trip, uh, but we will also retain the remaining 50% of the money paid. Uh, but of course, if you have to cancel due to having COVID or flu-like symptoms, and you've got a medical certificate, then we will hold 100% of the money that you've paid in connection with the trip. Um, so then if Intrepid have to cancel your trip, which unfortunately did happen last year, um, we're going to give you a choice of either having 110% credit of the monies that you've paid for your trip, no expiration date again, or you can have a refund. So that is the big question is, can I get a refund if I need one? Yes, you can if Intrepid have to cancel your trip. And why to book your next Intrepid trip with your local travel agent. So I'm really happy to let you know that we work really closely with travel agents and we provide full training. So they really are Intrepid experts. Um, and we also offer complete price parity. So that means that you don't pay a penny more when you book with your local travel agent. So do please get in touch with Lisa and Matt if you have any questions. Um, and we love supporting local businesses, like I said. So we will try and encourage people to use their local travel agent where possible. Um, and also travel agents will give an unbiased uh, opinion and advice and they'll find the best trip to suit your needs and wants. So it might not be an intrepid trip. It could be a different company that's going to suit you better. But at least travel agents have that knowledge and they might be able to suggest uh, the right company for you. And of course, Intrepid is fully at all protected and out to bonded. So your money is completely safe when you're booking through your local travel agent. And that is absolutely everything from me, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. And we go back to the three of us. There we go. <laughs> Lisa, where are we going? Um, well, I've always had my eye on one of the uh, intrepid trips to Vietnam. I think the itinerary that you do in Vietnam, it just looks absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, obviously the destinations that you cover as well. There's so, there's so many to choose from, Matt, to be honest with you. The one that wouldn't be for me personally is the Everest Space Camp. But I mean, <laughs> I know that that is an amazing trip because that is on so many people's bucket list. But I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not on mine. <laughs> it's all right. It's not on mine either, Lisa. <laughs> Um, Carrie, where is on yours? Or where, where, where's your favourite or where's next to go? Oh, I'll, I'll answer the favourite one first, maybe. Um, that was probably the beautiful Bali trip. I really loved that one. It's an eight day trip. I've never really been that excited about visiting Bali. I always kind of, you know, had that just that kind of preconceived notion that it was just a beach destination. But oh, wow, there's so much to it. And, and it really blew my socks off. I wasn't expecting it to be that nice. Um, but I also loved our Explore Jordan itinerary because I've always wanted to see the treasury at Petra. And I'm really lucky that I did that one in August 2019. And just that first sight of the treasury when you're walking through the Sikh, it's just, it's mind blowing. It's amazing. So I absolutely love those two trips. I really, really did. Um, where am I going next? Such a great question. Um, I had a trip booked for April of last year, which was unfortunately cancelled, as you can imagine. Um, and that was our Guatemala to Mexico trip. So it goes to Guatemala, Belize and Mexico. Uh, haven't done Central America yet, so I really want to do that one. So, uh, And there's also talk of Egypt. But as you can imagine, my list just gets longer and longer and longer. But that'll be me one day. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Matt, what's yours? Mine? Yeah. Matt's will probably be, uh, you know, that pitch that you showed us at the beginning, Carrie, where you've got the food in front of you in Thailand. <laughs> probably be Matt. What, so, one of my anything that involves food. No, one of my questions is going to be around, um, you know, if you're looking for a specific say at all that really delves into local cuisine or like adventure, they're like, you have one specifically, yeah, for each. So if a client is interested in something specific. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have loads of great food tours. So like I always say, food is such a big part of any culture. So it's always going to be a big part of any trip. But for anybody who's a real foodie, 
um, and who, you know, really wants to learn how to make like the most amazing Thai cuisine. We've got so many great food trips. So actually the Sri Lanka food trip does really, really interest me as well. I've heard nothing but great things about that one. Um, and I've not been to Sri Lanka. So I think, yeah, that would be a really good one. Um, lots of great cooking classes and cooking demonstrations on those foodie trips. So if you've got any foodie customers, then yeah, have a look at some of the food trips. They're great. <laughs> Awesome. I've got, um, I've got, I seem to have loads of questions. Sorry. Um, That's great. When we talk about um, <laughs> nationalities, is it a real mix of uh, like Aussies, Americans, British, you, you know, yeah. most of it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. As you just said, so it will be predominantly kind of English speaking countries. So we're obviously a, an Australian company. So a lot of our customers will be Australian or New Zealand. Um, but yeah, we're sold right across the world. So we've got teams in Canada and, and the US, uh, the UK, Ireland, South Africa. Um, but it will be a real mixed bag. You could probably probably um, expect quite a few more Aussies on a lot of the trips. But yeah, absolutely. There's, there's a nice mixture, I think. And it keeps it interesting and you learn lots of things. It's great. Yeah. Because you don't actually learn just about the destination you're in, but you learn all about kind of them, where they live, and then you may even think, well, I'll go there next time. Or Yeah, well, you've, got a, you've got a spare room to stay in then when you visit, I don't know, Cape Town or somewhere like that. <laughs> yeah, Cape Town. Yes, please. Um, Lisa, have you got any questions? No, I don't think so. I love the um, I love the little bit of the story at the beginning as well about how the company actually started. That's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. really good. What a great trip. I just wish that I had had the idea to do it first. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's a great story. <laughs> I think I would have only been two at the time, so probably not <laughs> for me. But no, it is. It's great. And our, our two founders are still very, very heavily involved in, in the day to day running of the business. And and they've really made sure that we haven't lost sight of, you know, our, our purpose and um, that we, you know, we try to, to get across and giving back to those local communities is so important. And trying to limit our carbon emissions, trying to limit our plastic use, you know. So they, yeah, they've kept us on the straight narrow and we haven't lost sight. So actually not a lot has really changed in the last 32 years. Thankfully, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know from uh, clients that we've brought before, you know, the values of Intrepid as a company are absolutely fantastic. And, and the feedback on, on trips as well, it, you get really, really, um, you know, high feedback, really great experiences. So uh, that always tells you something, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. And that, that's really kind of you to say. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, but no, it is, it, you know, it's, 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 uh, they're great trips. They're really, really immersive. And I know I work for them, so I'm obviously going to say that. But uh, even before I worked for Intrepid, I actually always wanted to work for Intrepid just because I love the values that we uphold. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, it kind of is the same with me in my personal life. I try to limit my plastic use, you know, I try to you know, look after animals around me and, and different things like that. So yeah, it's just a, it's a, it's a fantastic company to work for. And, and I'm really glad that we've, we've kept our, you know, our purpose message as well. It's great. Brilliant. Awesome. Thank you so much, Cassie. We really, really appreciate it. And I certainly enjoyed that. So I uh, hope everyone watching did. And if you are watching then please do check out our other videos on our YouTube channel for more holiday inspiration. We always say it, but we mean it. No one will care more about your holiday. And we do. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks, Bye. guys.